If you're just like me and did not like how the Bulls performed at the trade deadline, and I'm sure a lot of us didn't, then this news might be interesting to you to hear. Mark Eversley, the GM of the Chicago Bulls, has been linked heavily to the Charlotte Hornets, and a deal for him to go there might actually happen. This is your host, Joey Mercer. We're going to discuss all that you need to know about that on this episode of Bulls Digest. And before we get into it there today, I just want to say that about 80% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure if you aren't already subscribed to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and every single time we upload, you'll be able to stay up to date with our takes on your Chicago Bulls and all the news that you need to know on them. It is All-Star Saturday, of course, but there is some news still to cover, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So, Eversley leaving the Bulls. So, we all know that him and Arturis Karnasovas are the two men responsible, of course, for building what team we have right now. In 2021, they made some drastic moves, and since then, haven't really done too much with the team, besides a few draft picks that haven't been too crazy. Now, when we look into this past trade deadline, nothing happened at all, and a lot of people have criticized the team because of that, and that they've come out and think that they can contend with the team that they have. Mark Eversley is actually now linked to the Charlotte Hornets after Mitch Kopchak left the team. When we look into the article we'll be citing, it starts by saying, The Charlotte Hornets announced Monday they will begin their search for a new president of basketball operations following general manager and president Mitch Kupchak's move to an advisor role in the front office. According to a report from The Athletic, Bulls general manager Mark Eversley is a leading candidate for the position with the Hornets. League sources have mentioned Philadelphia 76ers general manager Elton Brand, Chicago Bulls general manager Mark Eversley, and New Orleans Pelicans general manager Trajan Langdon as the three leading candidates for the top position for the Hornets, the Athletic wrote. And it's interesting enough that they do note that because of the fact that, of course, Mark Eversley had uh, tried to get this role in the past and was unsuccessful. Mitch Kopchak was actually the person that got the job over him, so it's interesting to see him uh, connected again. Maybe he was the second option at the time back when Mitch got the job. Now we look further into this, we can see a tweet by Casey Johnson to confirm what I just said, saying Bulls GM Mark Eversley, then with the 76ers, interviewed for this job in 2018 when the previous ownership group hired Kupchak. Now we can see it said that the full ESPN story, this was by Adrian Wojnarowski of course, on Charlotte Hornets president of basketball operations Mitch Kupchak moving into an advisory role. So he is still with the team, of course, and could bring in Mark Eversley. This is what Casey Johnson had to say about it, and it definitely added some much-needed uh, context as to why Eversley could leave the Bulls. Maybe this was his first option, and the Bulls were a second option for him, which is not why you wa what you want in a GM. But Mark Eversley, of course, was the person that was very, very vital in landing DeMar DeRozan back when he joined the team. We can see that in this next part here, saying Eversley has been the Bulls general manager since 2020 when he joined Vice President Arturis Karnasovas to take over the team's front office. Before that, he was the Vice President of the 76ers players staff, then the Vice President of Player Personnel for the Washington Wizards, and the Assistant General Manager for the Toronto Raptors. Because of his previous posts with the Raptors, he's often credited for convincing DeMar DeRozan to choose the Bulls over the Lakers and Clippers in the summer of 2021. Eversley flew to Los Angeles to meet with DeRozan and his representation and came away successful as the, as the Bulls then inked him to a three-year contract. And we all know that DeRozan might not have the best repu or not reputation necessarily, but the best links right now to the Toronto Raptors. They did have some tribute videos to him, but we all know notoriously that he was traded for Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green. They came back to the Raptors, and the Raptors won the 2019 championship because of that, largely in part that they had Kawhi and they didn't have DeRozan anymore. I still loved Mario DeRozan on the Bulls, and it was just an unfortunate uh, circumstances for him at the time, but it was all a part of doing business, and it just probably didn't sit well with him at all. Uh, we haven't heard too much of DeMar coming out with that as of late, but Mark Eversley, on the other hand, was a big part of him coming to the Bulls. So it's interesting to see that he goes from the Raptors assistant general manager, the Bulls general manager, and now tied links to the Hornets, which was the team that he was trying to get to before the Bulls, of course. 
Next thing we saw in this was Eversley and Karnasovas have built the Bulls' blueprint behind the acquisitions of Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso, Nikola Vucevic, Patrick Williams, Andre Drummond, and re-signing Zach Levine to a maximum contract. But they've also been criticized for their unwavering belief in the Bulls, who currently sit 26-29 and 29 in 9th place in the Eastern Conference. And we talked about it in last video as well. They have to play the Boston Celtics, so... That's a tough game. They're probably going to be 26-30. and 30. I hope they can pull things together and get a win, but we have a lot of injuries on that team. And that maximum contract in Zach Levine isn't even playing for you right now. Patrick Williams is out and still wearing a boot, as far as I know. And you're having to play some young players that probably aren't ready to play as many minutes as you're getting them to. Julian Phillips still looks very raw, and although I like to see him out there and see what he can do in some minutes, if we're trying to make a playoff push, he's not the guy that we want to lean to. We've talked about some buyout candidates to kind of fit a veteran role, like Joe Harris, who I hope they still get, but Gallinari was picked up by the Bucks, who wanted to play for Doc Rivers. Interesting uh, look for Gallinari for sure, but it seems like the buyout market is getting smaller and smaller for the Chicago Bulls, and if they don't act soon enough and try to get one of these players or convince them to join the team, just like Eversley did with DeRozan, then it is going to be too late, and this is going to be another season loss, and that is not what you want if you're the Chicago Bulls, if you're anybody part of the organization, or especially if you're the fan base. Last thing. It's very true that, of course, DeRozan has been great since joining the team, but Mark Eversley as a whole, what has he really done besides DeMar DeRozan with this team? Well, since 2021, the answer's nothing. Maybe this is a sign of good things to come for the Chicago Bulls, because it really doesn't look like it's the best of ideas to keep both him and AK around if they are pretty delusional in my opinion and thinking that this team is the team that has what it takes to get things done. Massive moves need to be made in the offseason and if they aren't willing to do those then I think we need to get somebody else in here. I think it's time to kind of change who's in the front office because it's been far too long with bad decisions being made. We didn't like Gar Pax. They were absolutely horrible. Gar Foreman and John Paxson of course. But now with Mark Eversley and Arturis Karnasovas, it started out very good, and right now it's abruptly ending, it seems. I could really believe that Mark Eversley would be a top candidate for this job, and I think, I really do believe that he might leave for the Charlotte Hornets, and I think that could be a blessing in disguise for the Chicago Bulls. Now, what does this mean for somebody taking that position for the Chicago Bulls? I'm not too sure at this moment, but we are going to keep you up to date here on Bulls Digest for whatever we know. As soon as we know, we will let you know uh, to do with the GM position. Is Eversley going to stay, or is it time for him to go? I hope you all enjoyed the episode there today. we got another one coming later today. And uh, yeah, it is All-Star Weekend. Lots happening throughout the NBA, but not many games on. But we'll still keep you up to date with all the news you need to know on your favorite team, the Chicago Bulls. This has been your host, Joey Mercer. As always, if you like the video, make sure to go down and hit that like button, comment on the videos. I like to hear from all you guys. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Sign out.